City Brockport will host Jaleel Muntakim, who was convicted of killing two New York City police officers back in 1971, to speak about political prisoners, history and black resistance, as, and more. The latest opposition to this was a Black the Blue rally held in Brockport earlier today, and Alex Love joins us with what why rally goers wanted this event canceled. Alex. Well, Isabel, people with close ties to SUNY Brockport and elected leaders from the area took the podium, condemning the university for allowing Jaleel Muntakim to be paid for being able to talk with students and potentially portray himself as a political prisoner. Dozens of people came out for this rally called Brockport Backs the Blue, including lawmakers from the local, county, and state level to argue Jaleel Muntakim's pass disqualifies him from getting a podium like this to speak at a college. Do you think ever if he went on a college campus somewhere and killed two instructors, they would have him speaking? Absolutely. Never. Then why is it okay? Why is it fashionable? What is the justification for having him speak and get paid to teach kids that it's okay to kill police? Jaleel Muntakim, who used to go by Anthony Bottom, was convicted of murdering New York police officers Joseph Pagentini and Waverly Jones in 1971. He was released after spending almost 50 years in prison, where he became an activist for political prisoners in America. You know who are the real political prisoners in our community? The police officers who have been demonized, defunded, demoralized for the last two years. The real political prisoners in our community are the innocent victims of, re of the violent crimes as a result of the ridiculous policies from coming out of the New York State Legislature. Heaven Moon Takim's speech go on did receive support from the Freedom of Individual Rights of Education organization, who sent us a statement reading in part, restricting expressive activity in response to threat and disruption violates SUNY Brockport's obligation under the First Amendment and farther incentivizes more threats to future events, putting both the expressive rights and the safety of the university community in jeopardy. But the Back the Blue organizers argue the First Amendment doesn't apply to him entitled to speak in this type of setting. If he wants to stand out in the public square, and spout off whatever nonsense, he can do that. And I actually fought for his right to do that. But you know what, he doesn't have the right, he doesn't have the right to be invited. This professor made this invitation and they got stuck. They didn't know how to get out of it. So we're gonna hide behind the Constitution. Other demonstrators supporting the Back the Blue cause gathered outside this event to echo statements made by elected leaders who took the podium. For the full statement of the Freedom of Individual Rights of Education on why this speech should go on, you can visit our website to read it all at rochesterfirst.com. Isabel? All right, Alex, thank you so much. And Jaleel Muntakim is scheduled to speak virtually via Zoom on Wednesday, April 6th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Anyone in the public can register for a spot if they're still available on April 5th after 5 p.m. following Brockport students and staff reserving a spot.